The Russians are modifying missiles and shahids in anticipation of the appearance of F-16s at Ukrainian airfields. Ukraine is also making serious preparations to receive fighters, so a very serious confrontation lies ahead. Aviation expert Konstantin Krivolap spoke about this on the air of the Telethon. The HA-101 has already passed the fourth level of modification. That is, they have reduced the range, increased the warhead and equipped them with cluster munitions. They have added a system against electronic warfare and thermal interference, he emphasized. Krivolap added that Ukraine is also preparing to receive F-16 aircraft, expecting air defense systems and preparing infrastructure. When all this comes together in time, then we will see and be participants in this very serious confrontation, he emphasized. According to the aviation expert, even taking into account combat experience, after undergoing special training on the F-16, Ukrainian pilots will not be able to immediately reach the level of instructors. Americans have spent their entire lives in the cockpit of an F-16. We will have combat experience, but they are like fish in their own aquarium, he noted. The expert added that there is also no well-established system of all interaction processes between pilots and technicians, information systems and air defense on the ground. Everything will be worked out when the first F-16 aircraft begin work. At least six of these machines so that they begin to work out all these procedures, Krivolap stated. Earlier, the New York Times wrote that Ukraine is one step away from deploying the first birds, but because of this, the Russian invaders may intensify strikes on the country's military airfields. Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Sirsky, noted that American fighters will help the defenders of Ukraine, but they will have certain limitations at the front. Let us recall that Romania will pay for the costs of training and education of Ukrainian pilots on F-16 fighters at its military air base. Chinese manufacturers, with the permission of Beijing, supply Russia with the necessary equipment which it used to continue the Kremlin's criminal war against Ukraine. The Washington Post reported this. In particular, according to the publication, we are talking, in particular, about the supply of complex machines for the production of weapons. According to the UN, China's export of this equipment increased more than two times last year. In particular, the Chinese company Shandong Ori Laser Technology Company makes money from the sale of laser machines with which Russia manufactures weapons for the war against Ukraine. Last month, this company and dozens of other similar Chinese manufacturers were hit by US sanctions. It is known that the company is engaged in the production of fiber laser cutters intended for use in civilian purposes. However, this equipment can also be used to produce drones. Representatives of the US Treasury note that Ori Laser supplied Russia with metalwork and other related equipment. In addition, Chinese manufacturers supply electronics to Russia. According to the UN Comtrade database, Chinese companies sold $245 million worth of laser machines to Russia last year. In 2022, China sold similar equipment to Russia for $162 million. In 2021, Chinese exports of laser machines to Russia amounted to only $90 million. China also separately exported $390 million worth of metal working machines to Russia in 2023, up from $94 million a year earlier. Russia has become completely dependent on the supply of all types of machines and their parts from China, notes Pavlo Luzin, a researcher at Tufts University. Analysts say Beijing, which tightly controls its private sector, has allowed companies to continue doing any business with Russia. Journalists emphasize that Ori Laser's relations with Russia date back to the Kremlin's criminal war against Ukraine. The company published videos taken before 2022 in which Russian customers pose next to their cars. Russian industry does not produce such machines as Ori precision laser cutters. Before the start, of a large-scale war against Ukraine and the introduction of Western sanctions, Russia bought these tools from European, Japanese, South Korean and other manufacturers. The company's Ori laser, fiber laser tools, are an example of equipment used by the Russian defense industry to produce military drones, 
jet armor, and other military equipment. Fiber laser cutters are capable of cutting metal into precise shapes that cannot be duplicated by the human hand. The general profile of Ori laser is consistent with other Chinese manufacturers of laser machines used by the Russian defense industry. Ori laser is supported by the Chinese government. Beijing has so far done little to stop private companies from supplying Russia's defense industry.